Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie in Mario 64 Episode 8. In this episode, we're going to be checking out Shifting Sandland. Pretty excited to be working back on this project again. I'm hoping to release Part 9 soon, that will be Hazy Maze Cave. But for now, let's check out Shifting Sandland here. I gotta say, this level, the music and the skybox really fit well with Shifting Sandland. Because I used the music and sandbox from Gobi's Valley. I don't know, it just really worked out well. I really like the way it sounds and looks. Another thing I did is I used scrolling textures right here. Which, I don't know, made this part seem a lot more like quicksand than it did without scrolling textures. Now, just the fact that uh, on Banjo's Backpack, the program I used to edit these ROMs, that you can include scrolling textures is pretty cool. Another thing, to make the Shifting Sandland, like, kill you when you're in it, I put it so... I just put a plane of lava across the entire map, and it's kind of funny, because any point where you're lower than this is where all of the Shifting Sand is, or the Sinking Sand is. You know, earlier when I was playing, I was having so much trouble because the game kept, like, crashing. Just non-stop. So what I ended up doing was playing the game for, like, an hour and a half to beat just this level here. Because the reason why was I'd use save states, and it would just keep crashing and crashing, and I'd have to go back to these save states. And it was just the most frustrating thing ever. There was one part where the game probably froze, like, 40 times in a row with me, and I kept loading, loading that save state beforehand. I thought I was going to have to edit that part and post that video up, but I just realized that if I just deleted this one enemy, this one enemy was why it was freezing. So I'm really glad I got that cleared up, because I was just getting so frustrated earlier. Something that's pretty sad is Banjo's Backpack, the website, is discontinued now. They couldn't keep the funding up for it, so kind of sucks for people that have projects like me using the program that it seems like there's no form for it or anything. I'm sure you could ask questions in other forms, but it was really nice that there was a dedicated form, but now it's completely gone. But I guess not many people made any projects with Banjo's Backpack. Like, if you look at like this whole community, there's me and a couple others, but I don't think anyone has actually completed a full game. I could be wrong. And if I am, correct me in the comments and tell me about a game someone made with this program. Because I think it was Banjo's backpack got taken down mainly because the person that was writing the site was losing money. They were probably losing at least 20 bucks a month. And if the forums aren't that active, why would you keep them up, you know? I know it was Banjo's backpack and this other thing called... Maybe it was some other rareware form. And they both got taken down. Or on my initial trailer where I have the download link, I have a link to Banjo's backpack to show you how to download the ROM. And that page just doesn't exist anymore, so it's kind of sad. But I'm sure I'll find another place if I have any questions to ask them. to thank everybody for a uh, thousand subs here I just hit it a couple weeks ago and now oh, that was pretty exciting for me I've always wanted to have like a thousand subscribers now I can finally monetize my YouTube channel Ha 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 
No, I just love the way that the Gobi's Valley theme fits in with Shifting Sandland. I know a lot of people, like with this hack, say, oh, you should use the music from Super Mario 64 and import it in. And I could do that, but it just wouldn't sound the same with using Banjo Kazooie's instruments. Like, what I mean by that is it would sound completely different than what you hear in Super Mario 64 because it would be using Banjo Kazooie's like MIDI files and their sound. I don't know. So I'm glad I'm using the music from Banjo Kazooie because I think it makes it more like Banjo Kazooie. And I don't know, it's just what I prefer. I understand people that would have preferred having like the Shifting Sandman song going right now and, and part of the MIDI file. It's more of a personal preference thing. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, videos planned here. I'm trying to work on YouTube almost every day for like at least an hour. It's, it's just tough to find the time working full time and getting home from like an 8 hour shift and going to your computer for a bit. I'm good, except I need to get that yellow Jinjo. I think he's just on a pole. I'll go around and check. No, I'm just so ecstatic that this game isn't crashing. Like, I'll probably throw a clip up of how bad it was and like a time lapse of what I had to do earlier. I'm just glad I found the problem and why the game was crashing like that. That was just getting ridiculous. So, oh yeah, so I'm missing the Jiggy on top of the pyramid. It's so nice just being able to walk around with Zooey and Banjo for almost any slope, like, just doing shit like this is awesome. Just right away, I want to say, on the last episode in Lethal Lava Land, when I, in when I went inside the volcano, I put two Jiggies in it, but I was only able to collect one. And in this pyramid place, I put three Jiggies. Like, it's in, like, the level, but I'm only able to collect one. And I'm not 100% sure why it is, but this is just my theory. So the Jiggy was originally right in here, like, right here. So I think originally, the side levels, so for instance, for this level, I'm using Free Easy Peak's Christmas Tree, right? And the Free Easy Peak Christmas Tree, you only collected one Jiggy in it. So since I put three, it's only going to show one. That's the same thing with the Lethal Lava Land Volcano. I use, like, I think Gobi's Valley's Pyramid, and you only collect one Jiggy in that pyramid. So when I put two Jiggies in, it only showed the one. So I really don't know how to fix that problem. Because I know it kind of sucks watching this, and I only collect four Jiggies when there should be six. But there's just really no fix to that problem yet. So if any of you guys have a theory or have an idea about what to do to make the other Jiggies appear, that would be greatly appreciated. So I'm pretty clueless about what to do. I really like this music theme too, like Banjo-Kazooie's music is just so good. Like now that I'm playing the game like this, I will say I definitely prefer the controls to Super Mario 64, and just Mario's movement in general with like long jumps and uh, wall kicks and stuff. But I will definitely say, hands down, Banjo-Kazooie has it on the music end. Level design? I'm not sure which game I'd prefer though. Probably Mario 64, just because those levels are a lot more prominent in my head, but 
Banjo Kazooie's levels are pretty good too. Because there's a hack just like this, except it's like the opposite, where you're playing banjo levels in Mario. I don't know, like that one was fun to play, like I really enjoyed that one, but I think just overall I prefer playing this one and just seeing how this scenario works better. So I think I'd say I prefer the level design of Mario 64. I've been in contact with the guy that made the Banjo-Kazooie Mario hash, or at least provided the models, his name's UED. He's a pretty great guy, we talk on Skype all the time, and he was one of the big guys that helped me get all the models for the rest of the levels in this hack. Alright, so yeah, the other Jiggy should be right here. I know it's lame that it's not there, but just, just pretend I'm collecting it until I, I ought to find a fix this problem. And then... Alright, well that's it for... Uh, Shifting Sandland here, thank you guys for watching. The next episode will be Hazy Maze Cave. I'm gonna tr really try to get it out within this week here. Try to get on a better schedule, get these Banjo-Kazooie videos out every week. 